Now we turn to the Torah service, which is the central part of this morning's Shabbat celebration and Bar Mitzvah celebration. It will begin, as I promised, with a special ceremony in which we remove the Torah scroll and pass it through the generations down to our eager Bar Mitzvah, who is thrilled to take the Torah in his hands. And then he's going to walk the Torah into, among all of you, the congregation, it's a tradition to sort of reach out, touch the Torah, sometimes kiss the Torah, sometimes kiss the bar mitzvah, kiss the cantor, whatever it is that works well for you. Um, yes. And, um, but stay where you are to do that, otherwise it's really a mess. And uh, it's this symbol of bringing the word, bringing the Torah to the community, because that's really what it's all about. And so we turn to page 383, we rise for the Torah service, as I invite parents Jean and John to join grandmother Phyllis and uh, our bar mitzvah Jeffrey and I invite Matt and Simon to come help with opening the ark. Matt Klein, Simon Polikoff over here. That would be nice. Listen to the cantor and repeat. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adoneinu Kadosh Mo.
Israel, Israel, they are right. Turn it, you should be seated too. Back up. There we go. Just a moment, we're going to turn to the Torah, which, as most of you know, contains the five books of Moses Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And um, it is a Jewish tradition to read the entire Torah scroll today. So, you got a lot of time? Good. Not going anywhere. No. We read the entire Torah scroll every year in an annual cycle. And so, every bar or bat mitzvah, every Shabbat has his or her own special Torah portion, and then there are those uh, extra special Torah portions, like today, um, which you can read about in the beautiful little booklet that uh, Jeffrey and his family handed out to you. That is, this was a special weekend, this was a special holiday kind of weekend, the festival of Shavuot, one of three that used to be called pilgrimage festivals. Where did they pilgrimage to? Don't say Mecca. Where did they pilgrimage to? Jerusalem, thank you. They pilgrims to Jerusalem. This is an audience participation act. You have to, like, <laughs> participate with me. So, yes, they used to pilgrimage to Jerusalem. They used to go up to Jerusalem. It was called Aliyah, to Jerusalem. Same word we use for the being called up to the tor Torah. Aliyah, you go up to the Torah. Um, many people who have uh, been in synagogues before, some of you have never been in the synagogue, so you have no idea this is not the normal way synagogues look. This is the normal way synagogues look. But for those of you who've been in synagogues before, you know this is not the normal way synagogues look. Um, most synagogues look similar to churches. That is, in the sense that there's a floor space with chairs or pews, depending, and then there's a raised platform that we call a bima, where we have the ark and the Torahs, and then people go up to make aliyah, they go up to the Torah. Um, it looks to you like you're coming down to the Torah in here, but that's only because you probably didn't pay attention to the fact that when you walk in the door to the sanctuary, you're actually lower than this floor. And you actually walk up a ramp to get up to this level where we all are. We are all sitting on the bima together. That's how it was designed, because the, our emphasis here is belonging and community. So the entire community is sitting here up on the bima. We're already here. Um, so you've already